Have you ever had that one person like to be there for you no matter what? Like it could be family or not, a friend or anything. Anybody? Yeah. Okay. That's great. But for people that don't, like I think they should get some love because everybody should have that one person in the corner. It doesn't matter who they are and what they are to you. Friend, family, cousin, something, it doesn't matter. But like where should I start? I'm gonna start junior year. That's when everything really happened for me. Uh, Coach Williams, Coach Milton Williams, he was a coach here at UALR. I don't know why he like, decided to like go down for a job. I don't know if the pay was different or something, but he accepted the job offer there at Hot Springs. And I was like, just finishing up football season. I wasn't even thinking about track. <clears throat> and I was like, I hope he doesn't expect me to run track because I'm not going to do it. I feel like I was forced to do everything at that point. But um, he pulled me to the side one day and told me, hey, um, do you do high jump or something like that? He looked at my body and said, do you do high jump? I was like, no, sir. He said, do you want to do high jump? I said, mm, I'm willing to try. He says, OK, well, come with me today. Like the whole day, he spent the whole day with me, like just pointing things out, like at the high jump pit and like, just um, he just like, you know, like he showed me like what to do and what not to do at the high jump pit. Like not only did he like tell me things about track, he talked to me about things in life. Cause at that like at that time, I was like going through something with like within myself, and I wouldn't really be worried about sports. He said just worry about sports, don't worry about everything. Everything else will carry. Like that's the thing that happens in high jump too. You jump off a bar, your bar, your body carries. And I was like, okay. But then um, come senior year, like I, would have, I had no offers. I was scared. I was like, I'm not gonna go to school nowhere. I'm not gonna do anything. Like he says, don't worry about that. Like always have believe. Like always have trust. He's like trusting me, believing me. And I was like, okay. I still didn't trust him or believe in him. But then, like the next day at practice, it was raining and everything. I'm like sad. I was like, I'm not gonna go anywhere. He like, he pulls me to the like, he pulls me to the side. He says we get in the car. I get in the car with him. He's on the phone with a coach, and like a whole bunch of coaches. He like showed me text messages of coaches that's like interested in me and stuff like that. He's like, see, I told you, don't ever like give up on yourself. Like, it doesn't matter what's going on. And like, it's not. It doesn't matter about what you see. It's about like what you're doing. You know. And I'm like, okay, like. But um, he um. He basically just like pulled me through the dark and taught me how to like trust myself and things. Anyways, I'm not gonna necessarily challenge y'all, but I hope y'all come to class next week and like have something that you're grateful for or someone that you're grateful for.